Welcome to my channel. This is Crystal and I'm the Classy Sassy Stitcher. You can call me Classy if you want. Cal's Craft decided that she was going to, so I guess it just stuck. Um, I'm just looking at my, uh, my watch to see how many hours of standing I have for today. Five so far. Almost six. So that's how active I've been today. I've been good. I've been, you know. Uh, okay, so today, <laughs> this is weird for me. This is why I'm like, just like, you know, and like being wacky and weird on my uh, first minutes of this video. I want to quickly do a, um, what's in my stash video I will start with the Amazon uh, stash all of these I have checked tiny eye with I have one that is not an Amazon purchase I have um, checked tiny eye with all of these to make sure they're not stolen artwork None of them are. They're all pretty much, um, what do they call it? Stock photos. <laughs> Couldn't remember what it was called. Um, they're all pretty much stock photos. Actually, they all are stock photos. Um, so they're free for use. And so let's get on into it. I don't even know how many I have like in my physical stash. I have first actually let's go through my gems flow and see how many I have waiting to come to me. I don't know if you can see that. Let's like turn down the thing so you can see. I have five waiting to come to me. This one should be here soon. It was just released to Canada Post. Come on camera okay there we go this one was just released to Canada Post the other day these two I think are lost in the mail which is unfortunate because that one is no longer available this one's out of stock and I'm waiting for this one and this one can we see a theme here these are all Mandy Manzano's so we can tell that she is one of my favorite artists this one is a Lizzie Falcon it is the Christmas night, or this Christmas night. It's from Treasure Studios Art. And, um, yeah. It's a Lizzie Falcon, so I really like that too. So I have 13 received and not started in my stash. Five that are not received. So these ones here that are not being very kind on my camera and they're all blurry those ones are all um not received yet so i'm not going to include those in my what's in my stash video i have about an hour to film this before i have to go get my son so let's get into this we will start with my cat eared mystery painting I don't know what this is. I'm not going to show all of the like beads and stuff uh, because we just don't do that here. I was hoping for the purple one. I also heard from my friend who did the cat eared one that this wax here is not very good. And I didn't even get the purple macaron. It's called a macaron. It's not a macaroon. It is a macaron and they're very different things. Macarons are like sugar cookie candies and macaroons are those things with chocolate and coconut. Or I don't know even know if you call those macaroons in America. So one thing I am not going to do here is show all of the drills because we don't have time for that nonsense. So I'm just going to go through 
what I have in my stash. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I'm pretty sure it's a corgi. Um, so this is what it is. Cat Eared is famous for their mystery diamond painting. Uh, the thing I like about Cat Eared though, oh look at that, a white boat. I already took their, their pen out of here because it came with a uh, resin pen kind of like this, but dark blue and white. I took it out because I already used it and the whole purpose of me buying this was to get the pen because the pen by itself was just as much as the two diamonds, like the diamond painting and the pen itself. So there's that. So I like how Cat Ear comes in the baggies, although I will probably just kit this up in my kit, which I have another video for storage that I plan to make here. I'm sorry the light is a little weird. Um, it's because it's raining here and yeah. So I like how these come in little baggies. I will take one out so you can see. The drills in this one are round, which I think are, is gonna be fine. Um, even with the black and white. I thought it was square for some reason, I don't know. Kind of upset that I didn't get the glow in the dark one, but that's fine. This comes with a lot of pinks, browns, and reddish colors, which I'm, I like, cause I, I like these like earthy tones and like pinky colors. So this is what they come in, these baggies. And I really like that about uh, cat ear. I do think this is a corgi. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm still gonna do it because I literally cannot tell like what the corgi looks like, just that it is a corgi. It doesn't make it any worse from me or for me that I know what it is. It doesn't take any of the joy out of doing it. I know for some people it would do that, but for me, not really. Um, as you can see on my inventory sheet, I did go through it and uh, mark off some like show that everything was there. Um, everything was there, no issues with that. So that's the first what's in my stash. Let's put this back here. Um, is this lovely cat ear painting that I'm glad comes in a box and it's easy to put away. My puppy is underneath the blanket on my bed, so. When I put stuff on her, she's gonna get mad. The second what's in my stash is this lovely puppy painting. It came with uh, this thing. I don't know what these numbers are on here. This is a 40 by 30. Oh, I think, so I think this is uh, the canvas size. These two are the canvas size, and these are the actual, like, drill size. Uh, let's actually measure that and see. So let's see if it is a 34 by 45 across here. Which one? These are inches, so. Yep. So this is a 34 by 45 across, and a... Forty by oops thirty down or width wise. So in length it's forty in width here this way it's thirty. So it uh, it is true to size on the forty by thirty canvas. I actually really like this company. It's, um, who was this from? I have another one of their paintings that I bought. It's by Anne 
A N M U X I on Amazon. So yeah. So it did come with all of these in little baggies, an inventory sheet, which I have not checked yet, which I should have done, but I didn't do. So it has the key and DMC color lists on this side here. It's not on both sides, but it is on the one side. Plus you have the legend on the inside of the baggie with the diamonds in it and it does come with all individual bags which I don't know I I don't mind having bags I have to cut into but you can tell there's quite a few in there so this one is called Christmas dogs and I was expecting it before Christmas but it only came like a couple days before Christmas and I was working on forever in my heart for winter with the AIC so I will probably just work on this at some point in the year. I'm not really one of these people that cares about if it is Christmas or not. I'll do a Christmas painting in like July. And it did come with two boats and a huge pad of wax in this one so that is double plus for me. Uh, I don't use pens so I'm not going to comment on the pens because we don't care about the pens. And if you do, well, that's okay. One day I will go through a whole video of your painting pens. Not this video though because we don't have that kind of time. The next painting I got, same thing, came with a huge pad of wax, two boats, extra baggies. Your basic bitch kit, as Ruby Q would say. Um, it this one also came with a whole legend. I don't know if you can see. Okay, my camera is not going to zoom. Uh, just a second here. Oh, there we go. So, as you can see, it's like a little flower thing. Let's see it bigger. This is what it looks like in camera. I am looking forward to doing this one as like a palette cleanser from one of my paintings. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe that. So when I cut this open, I accidentally cut the plastic and apparently I also cut the canvas. That's fun. That's okay. That's okay. I'll figure something out for that. I'll figure something out for that. It's all good. So that is my next what's in my stash. I'll go over here. I bought this one specifically because I love sea wildlife. So I'm excited about this one. Apparently we got beads missing coming out of here. So hopefully nothing opened in this. Um, I like how they have the legend with the DMC number on the side. I hate how some of the Amazon packages don't have the legend on the side um, with the DMC code because I like to save my drills. Uh, and I'll show you how I store those in another issue uh, uh, video too. So this one came with the same basic bitch kit. And this is Orcas playing. Um, a mom and baby Orca. I saw this and I love this. And it's from a picture that was taken and put on Adobe stock. And there's actually another little, I don't know if you can see on here, but another little Orca right there. So it's a mom and two babies, or a dad, mom, and a baby, I don't know. I think it's a dad, mom, and baby is what it is, so I love it. I'm excited about it. This one is a 40 by 50, but it's, 
it I measured it and it was like uh, 35 by 45 so um, these are the drills that came with it this is also a round the other two I opened were also round um, and yeah I don't know where that came from it's only one little like diamond out of the package so I don't know where it came from none of these bags look damaged so I think it's just a rope diamond to be quite honest let's see if I can get this back in here I gotta pause for a minute okay sorry about that little blip um, which this is two seconds later for you because the magic of movies um, my mom called so I had to take a little bit of a break um, the next painting that is in my stash is a Bob Ross that I got at uh, from Studio Diamond Paintings which they have license to all of Bob Ross's paintings that he ever did to make into actual paintings well I'm a huge fan of Bob Ross so I got this just because I'm a huge fan of Bob Ross and it is literally Bob Ross in diamond painting form isn't that cool and it has like all this white background it's a partial but that's okay I'm cool with it I was hoping this was all gonna be white but I can understand why they didn't uh, do it so I don't like these round ones I use them for my trash as you can see right here all my trash from my current diamond paintings that is in that excuse me my mom is calling me again I'll be right back okay so as I was saying um, I have a Bob Ross painting it actually is Bob Ross um, all of the studio diamond paintings that they sell at um, the as seen on TV store are licensed um, Bob Ross paintings and they made a like Bob Ross a painting in honor of Bob Ross which I think is incredible the only thing I dislike about these kits is a the circular thing which we've already discussed and two their key comes on a little card right here but it does not say Oh, does it does does it say the DMC number? Oh, okay, this one actually does say the DMC number. The last one that I did did not say the DMC number. Oh no, it doesn't say the DMC number. It just says the number of diamonds needed. So okay, there's that. Uh, it doesn't say the DMC number, which I do not like about it. So. It gives you a little package of drills, which obviously we're not going to need a whole lot because of the fact that um, this is a very small partial painting. So that's Mr. Bob Ross. That's the next one in my what's in my stash. This back in the box. Put it on my bed or my dog gets not it pretty much stays away from my stuff the next painting i have in my stash is this one i have not opened it up one thing i hate about amazon paintings is it's really hit and miss i do search amazon for like stock photos i try not to get any copyrighted images i specifically buy from Amazon for their snack size stock images like I am very conscientious about that so yeah um this is the next one it is a Santa and a snowman I actually bought this in a set of three because 
My mom loves snowmen and I had done another painting for her for Christmas and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. So um, if you've looked at my Instagram, you will have seen the one I did for my mom. It was a snowman in front of the window. So um, this is what that looks like. I think he's gonna be super cute when he's done. I might do that for my mom's Christmas present next Christmas. It comes with all these lovely diamonds. I thought these were like the numbers on them, but it's not. It's the number of the painting here. I dislike, and it comes again with the boat, whatever. Um, I dislike that they don't have the DMC numbers, because then I have to go through my book and figure out what numbers are which. And I haven't even updated my DMC book yet, so there's that. Can I get this back in? Probably not. We're gonna see if I can struggle on on this video to get it back in the packet. Cause why not? Oh, oh, can we do it? I don't know. So I tend to try and bend this part back so it doesn't catch on the plastic and it makes it easier to get it. Let's see if I can do it this time. What are you doing? Okay. Back. Back. Okay. So, I tend to fold the blue side back. And it's not working for me. It's making a liar out of me right now. Because that's not something that always happens. So I Peel the glue side back normally and push it back in. See, there, it worked this time. Um, and then I fold it back over. And once it, I fold it back over and I stick it. Just like that. And that, I find the simplest way to get it into the diamond painting bag just as a saver. The next painting I have, so the next painting I have is this one that I got last September. Now it doesn't want to come out of the back. So this one is the world map. Me and two of my best friends got these to do together. This is a square drill painting and it is the world map. Do you see that? I don't know. <laughs> so it is the world map. It is from the same company I got the flowers and the Christmas puppies from. And this is a 60 centimeter by 30 centimeter. It does have square training wheels, which I don't necessarily think is a huge problem because of the fact that it's a square painting. So I do paintings with uh, training wheels on them all the time. I love that they come with big pats of wax and lots of extra baggies, two boats, um, and then there's like multi lasers and pens that nobody uses. So. Um, I also love that they have how many needed and the DMC number right on the inventory sheet, but there's only this side and this one did not come with an actual inventory sheet, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but I I love all the colors in this painting, so yeah. I have plans to do a video on the difference between Amazon painting qualities and the best Amazon companies to buy from, and like Amazon stores 
to buy from. And um, also, gourmet painting companies, are they worth it? <laughs> I, I say gourmet in quotations, like uh, DAC, Diamond Art Club, and I got a TSA, uh, which I'm going to include in that, and I got uh, Dreamer Designs, which I'm going to include in that, because those are the mid-level prices. What I mean by gourmet is like diamond paintings that are diamond paintings that are um, from companies that are a little bit more on the expensive side. I want to do a DIY moon shop to include in that, but they are super expensive, so I might add it to my uh, series eventually. But um, for now, it'll just be. So far, I have Diamond Art Club. I've done both a square, and I'm in the middle of a round right now. Uh, I have uh, two um, Dreamer designs, one of which I think is a round, and one is a square. And I have the PSA that is a square only and I don't know if I'll get another TSA. We will have to see <laughs> how I like the first Lizzie Falcon before I decide the next one. So I'm gonna do this one next, this this one because it's already out of the plastic so um, I then have Marilyn Monroe in diamond painting form because I love Marilyn Monroe. Again, the boats and the drills. These drills are very nice quality. I see very little amounts of divots, if any. Um, I have actually had really good luck with uh, Amazon diamond painting that are um, like drill quality wise. I've never had bad luck in that area, so, uh, thankfully. Um, and I have this one in my, in my stash. One moment. Oh, I yank it out. So this one is a snowman and a cardinal. Isn't it cute? Um, again, I was gonna maybe do this for my mother, but I again did another one for Christmas for her. Um, all the drills come with it and the boat, but this is another one that's in my stash. You may hear my boyfriend in the background telling my dog to go away because she doesn't know what personal space means. So he's playing with her and telling her to go away even though he's like petting her and inviting her to stay. So, the king of contrary, yes we'll call him that. So again, very easy to put back in when you fold it back like that. So, um, why some of these have uh, no plastic covers is because Sometimes I get excited and I cannot put them back in. <laughs> um, this one I'm very excited to start doing, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Um, I'm a huge hockey fan. And this is the logo of my favorite hockey team. So the last Amazon one that I have in my stash to show you is this wonderful Montreal Canadiens logo and it is surprisingly 15 colors um, and there's like purples and blues and mostly pinks and reds and burgundies and reds and some oranges, but mostly reds and burgundies and blues and white. 
hoping this will come out fairly decent. And again, we don't need to talk about the boat because we've seen the boat on that, like, or the boat in these about a hundred thousand times. That is the last of my Amazon What's in My Stash from Amazon and other companies because uh, it wasn't just Amazon. There was one other company in there. Okay. The only thing that I, I find difficult with pulling these back so that the sticker doesn't stick to the plastic is that sometimes they're different lengths a lot of the time so it's hard to manage to keep them back at different lengths. So, in that case, I try to do it as quickly and efficiently as possible. Get off that plastic, thank you. <laughs> yes, I talked to the plastic when I'm trying to put it back. And there's that last one from Amazon. So now I'm gonna go to the gourmet ones that I have, and I'm not going to take these out of the boxes. I'm just going to show you what they are because I've already unboxed all of these on my Instagram. So if you would like to see further, um, go into my playlist on an Instagram called unboxings for my Instagram TV. So, and this one is the portrait of Dr. Gachette by Diamond Art Club. It is round and it has some AVs in it. I think it's only one AV. Um, so the portrait of Dr. Gachette is one of the ones that I have. That's why I like. I have 14. 14? 14. I have The Beast by Diamond Art Club, which is also a round kit. I'm currently working on Mad Kitty. So Mandy Manzano, Mandy Manzano. I did Forever My Heart, which is also Mandy Manzano. Um, I have four more Mandy Manzanos coming. Shh, don't tell my boyfriend. And then, um, Vincent Van Gogh. I love Vincent Van Gogh. And then I have two Dreamer designs. I'm not going to unroll the canvas, but, okay, this one is a square. So I guess these are both squares. have to unroll the canvas because this is an older one and doesn't come with the sticker sheet. Okay. So I'll unroll the canvas for you. We're not going to go over it because I have already gone over it in my Instagram live. So this is Mystic Tiger, and here is what he looks like in person. Yes, this is a, the first edition, like older canvas of Dreamer Designs, so it is extremely saturated. Um, the only reason I bought this is to get free shipping, which I unfortunately did not get, plus I ended up having to pay a $15 administration fee from DHL um, for I don't even know what reason. So that was a thing and it put a bad taste in my mouth <laughs> for Dreamer Designs. Um, for no other reason than I didn't like the shadiness of it. And then I have this one, which I don't have to unroll because... Wait, 
Maybe I do have that. I don't know if I do actually. Oh. Okay. Maybe I do have to unroll it. I thought it came with a sticker. Oh, I might have rolled it up into. I might have rolled the sticker too up in with that. So. Let's see. Oh, you're gonna come out? Okay. Cool. Let's just tie this up. Oh, okay. We're trying to stab me. Very stabby. We'll just leave that. Okay, I guess we do have to unroll this. So let's unroll it. does not have a sticker sheet, which is kind of annoying, but, oh, it does have a sticker sheet, just not an actual, like, image sticker. So I got this, which is the Kindred Spirit by, Reagan Kubasek, Reagan Kubasek. So, I look forward to doing this very, very soon. This is also a square drill, um, which is, again, fine. It is a little saturated, I'm seeing, but not so bad. I'm sorry for the uh, ambulance sounds in the background. I live just off the main highway, the main drag, and there are always ambulances going by where I live, so I do apologize for that. Um, but with that being said, this was my uh, what's in my stash video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed showing you um, my current stash and look for some unboxings in the near future when I get my paintings that are coming. And I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope that you are happy, healthy, and stay kind. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!